Kidneys are essential, crucial, vital. In fact, your kidneys are as vital as your heart. They clean your blood 40 times every day, regulate your blood pressure, and rid the body of waste and toxic substances. They return vitamins, glucose, and essential hormones back into your bloodstream. Your kidneys filter an incredible 180 litres of blood every day. That's the equivalent of 720 cups of tea. When your kidneys don't work properly, harmful toxins and excess fluids can build up in the body and normal hormone production can be disrupted. Kidney failure kills. It can affect anyone at any age. Every day, 22 people are faced with that diagnosis. You are more likely to develop kidney problems if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, heart and circulatory disease, or a family history of kidney problems. You are also more at risk if you are a smoker, from a black or South Asian background, obese, or regularly take medication like ibuprofen, for example. Kidney disease doesn't always have symptoms or signs, and people can often appear healthy and well. It's only at the later stages of the disease where they may appear. Symptoms to look out for are itchy skin, feeling tired, feeling sick, difficulty concentrating, unusually out of breath, poor appetite and weight loss, increased need to urinate, protein or blood in your urine. Kidney disease is irreversible and there is no cure. So if your kidneys stop functioning, you need ongoing treatments to keep you alive. These are gruelling, time-consuming and life-limiting. This can include dialysis, a machine or the natural lining in your body is used to clean your blood and remove excess fluid. It can still only do around 10% of the work of healthy kidneys. Dialysis presents cuts with daily challenges. An option for some people is a kidney transplant in which a patient receives a healthy kidney during an operation from a live donor or from someone who has died. This is a high-risk operation with an extremely long waiting list. Joseph had to start dialysis aged just two years and 11 months. He will have to continue dialysis until he receives a transplant. Unfortunately, kidney transplants don't last forever. On average, they last around 20 years. After four transplant rejections, Paul's chances of another transplant is slim unless research advances. Kidney disease is the 10th biggest killer worldwide. This has to change. Our vision is the day when everyone lives free from kidney disease. Research will take us to that day. To find out more about kidneys and staying kidney fit, visit kidneyresearchuk.org.